Really strong breeze remain from this morning, so yeah, we'll be battling all day. So there's a breezy look back on the first and the crown, and then quite a way to go. So yeah, certainly playing this as a long par five here. Up there. On in three, hopefully. There's a glary look down the first, and I'm 100 yards out here, just on the right hand edge of the uh, well, on the semi rough. I've got to come in over the bunker, so yeah, needs plenty of club on this. Got a full nine from. About 95 yards, couldn't reach. Chance. Oh, disappointing on the first. So actually in the centre of the fairway on two, which is always nice. Good drive, I'm about 160 out uphill. And uh, yeah, not sure between clubs I think. Just on the front, just a little bit shy. Go on. Yeah, that's nice. Quick look back down the hole as well. So yeah, flat but uphill. Yeah, it's a good port, good up and down. Not an easy hole. slipped on that. So that's absolutely fine. There. Keep rolling, I might just be on the front. And there's obviously a fairway bunker. This is about 200 ish yards. Maybe back to the tee. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, what a shot. So yeah, a bit of water here down the right hand side. And again there, and then a view back up. But yeah, looks like a nailed on par, that's fantastic. Fab. Always amazing. Yeah, yeah, that was a brilliant chip.
was convinced that was going to turn. To my right. And never mind, three is always a good score on a par three. A couple of bunkers either side here. So one left, and then a sort of tear to the back of the green. Another one right, and then back to the tee. over the tree and we'll see what happens. Just as a view back towards the T. I'm about 135 out here on the corner of the dog leg and there's my drive just up there. So yeah nicely played so far. well because that was uh, a little bit speedy but uh, yeah right in the middle of the hole it's confident on the line than that one so yeah it was nice nice three that lovely and a uh, little bit of uh, stuff to contend with here so yeah it's like an old wet bunker there on the left and the ditch before but yeah nice Almost two in the banks, but uh, yeah, that's still excellent. Nice and shot, nice and easy shot with the wind. So yeah, it's just a bunker short on this one. Nice uh, wide green, although it won't be here for much longer, sadly. The bunker short, and be back to the tee. strong breeze against here so I was hoping to get a bit of a lower one. Well no, I'll definitely take that. Got the uh, nice helpful uh, information signs here. So Traitor's Dyke this one. Uh, but it's telling me that obviously there's uh, quite a few bunkers up by the green. So yeah, I love these. So there's a view back to the T here. A um, couple of bunkers on the right hand side. I'm just beyond or just slightly further out from 150. But yeah, quite a strong breeze again so I'm going to need to club up for this. So, bunker right and left here, and back down the hole. There's a look back to the tee on eight. Fortunately, one of the things I'm really enjoying about this course is uh, it drains really well. And even though it was semi rough, I managed to get enough of a bounce to get me around the corner and have a view of the flag. So, yeah, excellent. Okay. 
talk about the distance, we'll see. Breaking putt, so yeah, very happy to walk off with a two putt four for there. Just uh, one bunker on my right hand side, so left hand side as you approach in. Have you down? So here on nine, three bunkers at the right hand side and one on the left. And I've just got 150-ish uh, in. Not sure. Got a big bounce to the right, but we'll see. So actually two bunkers shy of the green as well as well as the four on the fairway, but yeah, I just came up short. That's not bad, almost. Yeah, two loops of nine here. And you're right back towards the uh, clubhouse. First, par five into the wind. He's putting up on the air back in Strong wind in the face here. Got it a two iron from about 175 yards. Still short though. It's all right. Looks like another six. because I believe actually that's my thousandth hole I think I've played of the year so thousandth individual hole so yeah one thousand unique holes I've played a couple of courses um, several times but uh, yeah that's uh, quite an achievement this is my 56th course of the year that I've played so uh, yeah wow just so I don't forget so nice longish green on this one two bunkers and if you down into the glare we'll see glary but uh, yeah we'll see so there's a look back to the tee on 11, even though it wasn't the best shot, it's come over all this lot and it's actually managed to find the front of the green. So yeah, fortunate with the shape of it and the strike, but yeah, very happy with that. Just too 
smoke. But a three here makes me very happy indeed. I'm hard on my mouth from my tee shot there. Yeah, it needs to, well, you can't see back to the tee, so you had to come over, right over the tree, so yeah, difficult. So that's obviously a look up to the hole. I'm about 1.30 here, but into a very strong breeze, fabulous tree again, and then back towards the tees in the previous green. Back down. And obviously, you've got bunkers, two bunkers on the left here, three bunkers, sorry. And you look back down. Yeah, nice, real shame this, these two courses are closing. Fantastic, they really complement each other. Yeah, there was a slight bit of borrow and quite a bit of wind on there, so yeah. Had to allow for both. But yeah, another nice up and down. Thank you, Mr. Eight Iron. And we move on. Similar to the second, this sort of uh, uphill, uh, difficult, long par four. So if you back to the T, fairway bunker there, uh, grand repair one there, and another fairway bunker here, just where my drive is. I'm looking probably at about 175 up the hill, and the wind is really swirling, so I'm not sure on it. the bunker. And I feel back from there, so I've got a chance. While well, I'm here, it's just obviously the one bunker, which I'd have to come over. Lovely solitary tree. And a view back down the long hole. Overcompensated, I pulled a lot to the other side. Got some more leaves there. So, uh, yeah, never mind. It's a difficult hole. It's stroke two, maybe. So, yeah, to walk away with the bogeys. Not the end of the world at all. But, yeah, it's a lovely course, really nice. Here's a view back to 14. Obviously some water to come over, which I managed, and the tree, which I didn't quite. So there's the green, I should go up and find mine now. That's all right, that's good actually. Not where you want to be. saying to myself, this is a beautiful green, beautifully kept, but if I missed it, it was my fault. It was my fault. Yeah, I'm super cool. 
what I did off the tee. So yeah. But yeah, shame that these greens will be no more in 13 days. So very, very sad. But yeah, look back down the hole. What a shame. down by, I think is it the 14th from the other course, the narrow par 4, so yeah, lovely spot. That wasn't very good was it? Oh dear, it's really high. As you look back to the tee, but that was absolutely horrendous. Wedge, making a meal of this. as I thought. But yeah, ground under repair on the left, bunker on the right, and then view through the gap. In city. Back in. Just show you back to the uh, tee because there's lovely light coming on this now. So, yeah, just peering around. But, yeah, nice long green here and lovely mature trees over which you try and thread your shot through. Cracking. see what the Dutch courage is all about. Well here's a view back on 17 past the herring girls and in my naivety I uh, learned what the Dutch courage is all about by putting it this close to the pond. But at least I got a shot in. So there's a view back into the sunlight on 17, around to the corner, and then one bunker on the short right, and another pond down here on the left, and yeah, hit a nice shot in. But yeah, really, really sad that these both these courses will be closing, because they're fabulous. Fitting end, although it's not the, the very end, but yeah. This is a uh, hopefully members will actually find this a nice uh, uh, little tribute to uh, to the courses here. But yeah, sad times, but yeah, great course.
So unbelievably on 18, that was a terrible drive, but I've actually found the fairway and I'm bang on 150 to come into the green. Again, another immaculate green. Sneaks in to finish. Bring the curtain down on Tracy Park, sadly. Well, I'll just adjust the camera to get a less windy angle. We'll do an outro. So, just come here to the ninth green. It's a little bit more sheltered. Um, and it sadly hasn't got a view of the clubhouse from here, but um, just want to say that I've really enjoyed both the courses here today. Uh, the Crown has been a real pleasure to play. Not quite as um, exciting, I'd say, as the um, Cromwell, but certainly a really enjoyable course, really well maintained. I mean, considering it's 13 days until it closes, the greens are absolutely fantastic. Fairways are nice and bouncy and firm. The course itself is a real challenge. There's some really long holes on there and uh, sitting on the front nine of some difficult ones out there. But I've had an absolute blast. Um, I'm really gutted I, didn't, I haven't played it beforehand, but I'm really, really glad that I did play it um, before it managed to close. But um, I just feel really sorry for all the members, really sorry for all the staff here um, that are involved in the golf course because you've got two fantastic courses and it's going to be a real loss to the area. I mean, they're great courses good value I mean they've got a nice deal coming on today I don't know if they took sympathy on me because I'm playing both the courses and filming them but even so you know I had a really good time good bargain wonderful experience uh, I think I played reasonably well but again that's not what it's all about it's just about showcasing the courses and it's just a real shame that you know they're going to be lost um, so yeah really glad I played it hopefully any of members or any of the people that played it before will think of this as a nice memory for the course um, that's what I'm here for. I just enjoy sharing the courses with people and um, hoping that you know that you, you get enjoyment from it. So um, yeah, sad, sad day, but um, at least it's here for posterity.